It's really going to stop it right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> Hold on a second. I got to pause on this. He doesn't look like he's a ghost. At all. They blue balled the F out of us. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah, he looks, he looks great. He looks like not a day has passed. They did the CG right, man. Tearing up 2-3, they can't do that to us. I, I can't believe they did that to us, dude. This was supposed to be a 43-minute episode. There's like 10 minutes of credits. Star Wars is back. The King is back. The end of that. I'm a cry. Best episode this week. And the OST is just... Did you guys hear the Vader theme after that? What if he switches into Vader right away, but right after this? And it's all just like an illusion. And he's not even there. It's nice to see Hayden looking like a 22-year-old instead of a 52-year-old with a Padawan braid. Yeah. I wouldn't say 52, but maybe like, you know, like 40. Best episode of Disney Plus Star Wars. <laughs> what do you think next week is going to be like? What a freaking episode, man. Jelly of Sabine getting force choked by Shin. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Aren't we all? Finally de-aged him, LeMeo. Yeah. Leave it to Dave Filoni. And everyone wants to hate on Dave. This is what happens when you have Dave in charge of stuff. He just makes sure everything is right. What, what kind of lightsaber fight was that? We haven't seen that since the prequels. I would even argue that that was potentially like they were doing some crazy stuff with the with the the environment destructible environments using the force to throw things like only dave knows this stuff and this show i think is going to be a big pivot for star wars because they're going to see what dave is capable of when he is in control of things and people aren't <laughs> making him do stuff or making other people do stuff we don't even know star wars the king has returned this is a 10 i'm tearing up suspector simon says that was awesome i give this a 9.5 out of 10 what a thing i can't believe they hit us with that cliffhanger dude after I saw Anakin started crying and smiling at the same time, oh my god, 10 out of 10. Wow. I haven't been this happy of a fan since, uh, jeez, uh, <laughs> before the Kenobi show, the potential of the show. I think this is the first time in, how long has Disney had Star Wars now? Uh, is it 12 or 13 years? Oh no, it's 11 years. This is the first time in 11 years that I've actually felt like I watched Star Wars. Like, no disrespect to the other stuff, but this, to me, felt like actual Star Wars. It had story, the movements, the way it was shot, the transitions, the music, the battles, the lightsaber fights. I mean, this was probably the most Star Wars thing that we have had since the acquisition of Lucasfilm. And it is solely because of Dave Filoni. So any Dave Filoni hater... You gotta reassess, you know, let the hate go, man. It's your hate is swell, de swell. I was sweating and on the edge of my seat the entire time. Amazing fight scenes, great acting, and love where the story is going. 10 out of 10 episode. I mean, what more do you... If anyone is gonna hate on this episode, I'm gonna seriously question their allegiance to George Lucas and Star Wars fandom. Like, I, I really will be like, what more do you want? Like, <laughs> literally a perfect episode. I mean, I, yeah, like at that point, you just hate and hate. This was amazing. This was everything we've wanted. This, this brings so many Star Wars fans back. I mean, some of them are still out the door. They're like, yeah, screw it. But for a lot of us that stuck around for this, I knew something like this might happen. And look, the rest of the show might just go tanked, right? It might just tank completely. But 
I personally think that this is going to be really amazing. And I can't wait to see the next episode. I am like fiending for it. They cut it right in the environment, at the emotional part. A few more words would have really hit it home emotionally. I think they probably got a long episode in the fifth one. And that's why Dave Filoni's directing that one. I didn't even get to get the crying face going. It, they cut it too short. They cut it too short. And it's it's beautiful. Like I'm paused on his face right now. I can't show it because, you know, they'll, they'll strike me down. But uh, then it'll become more powerful than they can possibly imagine. It's just like I feel like I have nothing. I have nothing to critique. I have nothing to say. This is perfect. I feel... I haven't felt like this since George Lucas owned Star Wars. Like, I completely have just erased everything else that they've done for the last 10, 11 years in my mind. And I'm just like, cool. Let's just go with this. Let's just focus on this. This is amazing. Best Star Wars since Clone Wars Season 7. Best live action Star Wars since George. And you see the theme? Clone Wars Season 7. Tales of the Jedi. It's all Dave... Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni is the savior of the future of Star Wars. He is the guy. He is the chosen one. Must see it. No one does. Was hoping Maroc would end up being Starkiller, but other than that, 9 out of 10. Yeah, I was open too, but you know what? This is pretty fresh and different. Absolute jaw drop, says John. Like, god dang, this legit my favorite Star Wars project since the prequels. In Dave we trust. Like, damn, my nuts are busted. <laughs> What's up, 14,000 people? How you doing? Force choke it like Shin Batty. I've been really disappointed by Disney Star Wars since The Force Awakens. This is the first time I actually felt something since the final four episodes of season seven of Clone Wars, right? That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. And I think, okay, let, let's get a show of hands. Spam one right now if you think this is the most Star Wars thing that we've gotten ever since George left. Big round of applause. If anyone from Lucasfilm is watching, uh, Dave, if anybody is going to get wind of this, like, you are the future of Star Wars, and we could not do this without you. We need you. The fans need you. Disney needs you. So whoever's at Disney, give Dave a major raise right now. Because without him, it's going down. This is the only man to save this franchise. So whoever's sitting in the big seat over there, jack up his pay, man. This is, this is where it's at. This is what you need to be doing. It took 13 years, but yeah, we are we are back. You know, just ignore Kenobi and Boba and sequels and, and we're, we're good. We're fine. Just ignore everything else. Amazing. This was Star Wars. Was not expecting that. <laughs> Literally teared up just now. Or oh, everyone's saying they're crying. What's up, Nick? Damn, you guys are typing so much. It, it capped the chat. That's insane. Who's cutting onions? Okay, I got to go to the soupies here. Uh, give Dave all the money and control. Absolutely. Dude, give him like 20, 30 million dollars a year. Okay, 50 million dollars a year. I don't care. Like he is the one that's going to save your franchise. <laughs> Dude, <I'm literally... laughs> ah! Oh my God. It's been a wild ride of 11, 12 years of just waiting for this moment. Something, a, a good, a good episode that has no, nothing to even... Am I gonna be happy? Yeah, I cried a little bit. <laughs> I cried a little bit. Oh fuck! I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. <laughs> yeah, go all watch right. it. Go watch I'll it. Go like watch it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Later. Uh, chat. Balin says hi. Oh, I love him, and that you're the best YouTuber ever. I love you too, man. You too. You're, yeah, the, you're the you're the you're the best YouTuber. Greatest YouTuber of all time. Go watch it, dude. Go, go watch right, it. Go watch it. Call me. All right. All right. Bye. That was Balin Levine. Everyone, he's going to go watch it right now and probably piss his pants. 